two get us underway, attacking from right to left, one or two positional changes for them, and Horlock making the first mistake of the game, and then, in his opinion, forced to bring down Bob Taylor to stop him getting any further, and a little bit fortunate, perhaps, to avoid a yellow card there, Kevin Horlock. I felt Mr Burns was going to give him a yellow card there, he seemed to put his hand to his pocket, but then he changed his mind. You know, you normally get away with it early on anyway, and uh, I think Horlock got away with that one. Free kick to Albion there, Burgess and McNally, the two players over the ball. It's McNally who plays it in, and Burgess with the shot, that was a clever free kick by West Brom, and it almost paid off with a goal for Daryl Burgess, who hasn't scored it back for a, over a year now. It's a well-rehearsed free kick, it goes into Taylor, who lays a superb weighted pass back there for Burgess, and to be fair to Burgess, he gets a good strike on target, that's all you can ask from there. Good ball, Fjortop. And the referee decides that was a foul by Martin. I thought that was a harsh decision by Mr Burns. Yeah, I agree there. He came round the side of him, put his foot up. All right, it may have been a bit high, but at the same time, he did play the ball. Indirect free kick. But Fjortov backing into him. I'm not sure what else Martin could have done there. Man finally chipped it in to Fjortov, and it was a good kick, and he lost possession. McNally, good tackle on him, here's McMahon again. Beecham takes over, Fjortov and Thorne on the far post. Thorne's header! How unlucky, and Marden gets it away. Brilliant header by Peter Thorne, so unlucky not to add to his goals tally there. And now the ball's gone out of play. West Brom get a throw in, they could easily have been a goal behind. Now this is what we're talking about, Beecham there crosses right to the back post, superb header there by Thorne, goalkeeper, flat-footed, great header, hit the inside of the post, came out and cleared. Sigh of relief there for all West Brom fans. Mark, Beecham, they're still queuing up on the far post, but again, Joey Beecham shows the uh, irritating side of his game. Was wasteful. And now it's Swindon's little spell of possession. Long ball by Horlock for Fjortov. Classic header down to Thorne. That's a great effort by Thorne. That's superb striking. You know, you look, you look there, Fjortov got up and he's won a good header, and here's the strike, the left foot, he just flicks it up, a brilliant effort, just dipping over the top of the bar. You can see why the players get goals when they strike like that. Great strike, great effort. Swindon backing away here, and uh, rather fortunate that uh, Donovan didn't make more of that. Now McMahon. And Sullivan's layoff to top, good ball, Fjortoft. Got a bit of work to do here, Fjortoft, he's kept it in, that's the uh, first priority. And he looks for Thorne, or beyond him, Beecham. Good save. That could have been on its way. Certainly would have created danger anyway. Yeah, it was a good cross there, and Beecham, to be fair to him, he, he controls the ball well here. His first touch isn't bad. There it is, he thumps it down onto his left foot, and the keeper's made a good save with his foot. Outside of the foot, glorious ball to Robinson. Pity the cross wasn't as good. Bit of vintage Steve McMahon play in the build up there. Yes, that was a magnificent ball from McMahon. The outside of the right foot, he just bent the ball into Robinson's path. A brilliant ball. Pity Robinson didn't make a bit better use of his own. Taylor swings one in for Thorne. Cleared by Burgess, it's a good clearance too, Taylor pursuing it, Vivash held his ground well, that's excellent defending. Ball up, whoops, in the way to Donovan, now Taylor, back it goes again to Donovan, Hunt in the middle in a good position, he's played it behind him, but still a chance for Ashcroft. That was a good opening. As good defending there. Good defending by Swindon, there's a touch just as Ashcroft looked as though he was going to come in and knock it in. Here's the ball here, it's the ball to Donovan down the outside by Taylor, and Donovan gets to the line, 
crosses it back brilliantly there. It's a brilliant cross back, which gets defenders wrong-footed. And here's a little touch, just knocked him just off the ball. But the Swindon defence parted like the Red Sea then to allow O'Regan to make the run. Here's Ashcroft again. That's great cross, Taylor! Well, what a combination. If you've got a good winger who gets the ball in early and you've got a predatory striker like Bob Taylor, it's a great combination. It's a great cross, perfection. And Taylor's going in, he's odds on, he's just taken his eye off the ball. He'd be odds on to score there, man. But two wonderful chances in the space of two minutes for West Brom. They should have really put themselves in front there. And Sullivan, straight up McNally, on it goes to Taylor. Lovely ball. Ashcroft. And, and Taylor both in the middle. Oh, that's a brave header, and in all fairness to the goalkeeper, he was courageous as well. But you... Uh, You've got to be prepared to get hurt, to make goals and to save them. And we saw outstanding courage by striker and goalkeeper here, John. Yes, it's a tremendous cross in. They've both got to go for it. Digby goes out, he leaves his line, positive. Taylor comes in, Digby gets the punch and Taylor just twisted mid-air and gets the ball to wrap him on the back of the head. Now is the point of bravery, though, from both players. Look at that. That's bravery. Hunt did well to prod that back to him there. And now Donovan. Good looking ball, and it almost reached Hunt. Good clearance by Vibash. Taylor. Donovan again. Bodies all over the place here in the penalty area as he pulls it back towards Ashcroft. Another header by the winger. Steve McMahon is down. So is a West Brom player. Can't see who it is from Bob here. Bob Taylor. Bob Taylor it is. And they're both lying injured. Yeah, it's one of those, I think it was a clash of shins there as they went in. Bob Taylor went on the turn to have a shot. Here we are, Bob Taylor has his shot there, and he just comes and puts his foot up there, McMahon blocking the ball. No intent, I don't think, to hurt Taylor, but Taylor's caught his shin, and uh, McMahon's got his shin. Bob Taylor is unlikely to play any further part in this game. Well, that's a major blow to West Brom. McMahon with a long ball for Thornhill, he's a natural goal scorer. A huge shout from the Swindon fans behind that goal when he went down, but there was no suggestion that it was a foul. And he's earned his side the uh, first corner of the second half. Steve McMahon back to Beecham, danger here for West Brom. The shot was well blocked, but he still got possession, and still. And he's given it away, but Taylor battles to win it back brilliantly. That's Sean Taylor all over. He doesn't know the meaning of the word defeat, Taylor. And uh, he did superbly well to win that. Yeah, he's a good, strong player. Here he is, he has left foot, his favourite foot, and he battles his way through there. Short back lift and strikes the ball onto Taylor. Agnew for West Brom. It's not a bad ball forward. Reese on the end of it, lovely little layoff. Hunt, chance here. Nine minutes gone in the second half. Anthony Hunt gives West Bromwich Albion the lead. It's a great ball by Agnew and a lovely layoff by Reese. Here's the little flick inside, and he gets his touch to it, left foot, and there it is. Goalkeeper, no chance, buried in the far corner. But that was a great flick inside there. Good touch. Gets the break there, Andy. You look at me, Mash, and say, perhaps you should have got that. But at the same time, it's a good finish. Brilliant. At the other end, Fjortov threatens danger. It could be an equaliser. It should have been. What a miss by Fjortov. They could have had a goal back instantly. And their leading goal scorer, guilty of an horrendous miss then. Yes, that was a glaring miss. Here it is, the ball goes right the way in here. He gets his control, it's a mistake by the defender, he comes around and he just tries that little flick, 
and just misses the target. You've got to get those on target. A bit casual, a bit sloppy, not a good finish. So Swindon, just three places off the bottom of the first division, find themselves a goal behind. And Steve McMahon's team facing a real problem here. They've only won three of their last 23 league games. All those victories came, in fact, under McMahon against Middlesbrough of all teams, Burnley and Sunderland. They desperately need something out of today's match. Piotr could provide it and was unlucky. We've seen the worst and the best of Piotr here. Now Todd. O'Sullivan. Thorne, brilliant! That is a class goal by Peter Thorne. What a finish that was. Here it is here. There's O'Sullivan out on the right. He's looking up. He pings the ball across. And Thorne's position is magnificent. That is. That's a magnificent strike. Right-footed body. Spot on target. Great cross. Great finish. Great goal. Reese. Well, he helped that down beautifully for Donovan. Hunt in a great position in the middle and he pulls it back to the near post. And a chance, yes! Reese. Reese has scored! His first goal for Albion! Fifteen minutes in the second half and we've had three goals already. Oh, what a finish this is again. There's the cross there. I think he really went in. And there is the follow-up by Reese's brilliant, the great left foot shot. It's Hunty that goes in there. He bounces out the left foot, getting near beauty. Beecham has done brilliantly here. Can he finish? Good brave work by the goalkeeper. He just knocked it a little too far for himself here with his touch. There's the ball, you watch, it just gets away from him a little bit, and that tackle he's had to ride it, there it goes, and the keeper comes, throws his cell, spreads his cell, and Naylor's made a super save. That's a great save by Naylor. Still 18 minutes remaining, Thorne's header finds Piotr. He's done well here, he has Beecham in a good position, couldn't quite slide it through. But now Beecham has it. Piotr. Brilliant. What a great goal by Piotr. That was class again. And Swindon have scored two brilliant goals today. Look at the sheer arrogance of the man. But why not if he can produce a goal like this? This is great skill. He's got his back to goal here. He turns on his right foot, gets the break there. Bang! Unleashes the trigger and then she goes right in the corner. It's a great finish. You know, here's a little ball in from Beach and it is to him here. Played in. He backs in here. Turns on his right foot. Possibly given a bit too much room there. And bang, there goes the trigger. There's the ball in the net. Piotr, my profit from that misdirected header by O'Regan. He's done well, Piotr. Born in the middle. And Gooden, yes! Ty Gooden gets his first goal in league football. And what a vital strike it could be for Swindon. It's a lovely feeling when you get that first goal. Here's Piotr, out on the, the left there. He does a little shuffle, gets the ball in, and you're betting here that's going to go in and score there. But no, out it comes. He watches the ball right onto his left foot. A good finish. And here's Gooden again. Here's another terrific effort. Form! Yes! Well, well, what a substitution. Ty Gooden has proved to be for Swindon Town. The former Wickham player has scored one goal and made another for Peter Thorne. And that surely will clinch the points for Swindon. Now it's another good strike by the kid. Gooden, he comes in onto it on his left foot again, and it was a good strike. 
Here's the strike going in, the keeper pounds it away, but there's Thorne following up with his left foot, and got his true reward. The thought of another relegation season must have been truly haunting them. But now they're on the way to victory, and Thorne could be on his way to a hat-trick here. Get in! Well done, son. That's a marvellous performance by Peter Thorne. A great hat-trick, and it rounds off a superb Swindon performance in this second half. 5-2. What a great finish this is. He comes inside, and there, bang, get in, explodes on that target. But here you look at the defenders and say you've got to keep him going wide. You know, he's going to check back on his right foot, but it's a good finish. Crack, get in. Well, Mark Lawrenson, it's a case of follow that, isn't it? Let's mm. uh, enjoy some of those goals again. Excellent, wasn't it? Absolutely uh, staggering performance by Swindon, wasn't it? Yes, I mean, this is the, they conceded the first goal as well of the game just after half time. It's a great flick by Reese. I'm not quite sure where they meant it, Will, but he soon had the presence of mind to run onto it. And it was a good finish. Here comes a flick, it's over your shoulder basically, isn't it? Problem was that Vibes ended up on his backside in trying to make the tackle. If he'd stayed on his feet, he may have made it more difficult. This is Swindon's reply. In fact, that was the one that hit the post, wasn't it? It was the one just come a bit later. But I think the nice thing about Swindon, at least he came straight back into the game. And it wasn't too long before they got the equaliser. And what a finish this is. Yeah. In she comes. That is absolute class from Thorne, wasn't it? I think O'Sullivan picked him out. He peeled off his marker and he stuck it in the back of the net. But just as Swindon have been doing all season, they look like they're playing well and they concede another goal. They've got enough numbers back in to defend this, but they just don't really make it make the clearance count. It's Reese, I think, who actually slots home for his first game for the club. He's failed to clear, really, and the only place that Reese could have put, he puts it in. And here Fjordsoff does his party piece. Well, you know how many times have we seen him do this this season? Beauchamp gets a ball out on the left, and he does it so, it's so obvious exactly what he's going to do, and he's prepared to go away from the goal in order to finish. A great little shuffle between two feet, and that's a marvellous strike. It's a great angle to see the goal come in. Just passed it in between the defender and the goalkeeper. Marvellous finish. And here's where Swindon really take control. Yeah, well, uh, I think they have to get themselves back at 2-all as well. They made the substitution with Goodman, he'd come back on. And then it was all going to be Swindon and Fjortov now playing with his tail up. And his provider, Thorne piles in on the cross. It's a great finish by Gooden because it, it, it takes an age. And when you haven't scored a goal and that kind of chance appears to you, it's difficult. And then Gooden again, the provider, and Thorne, presence of mind in the right spot. And by that time, Swindon were absolutely cruising. I think that was 4-2. They knew the points were safe. And this goal really is icing on the cake, and it's a hat-trick for Thorne. And it's all about strength and pers perseverance. He knows exactly what he wants to do. Just turn your defender, see where the goalkeeper is, bend it in the far corner. Really spectacular goals, crowning a spectacular performance. It has lifted the club, won't it, because they were in midweek, they've gone to West Brom and they've been uh, under the cosh a couple of times, twice been falling behind, and of course they've come out, they won 5-2, so great for the confidence. Briefly, the downside.